So we probably all um, by now that sitting all day is probably not the best for us and we should all be moving a little bit more. And although the studies on the magical 10K steps are a bit inconclusive, all the studies on walking show that walking is very, very healthy and it's so good for your health, it limits the risk factors for a lot of diseases actually. Um, it seems like the, risk, um, the, the health benefits plateau um, on like 7,000 steps a day to 10,000 steps a day and also the faster you go, the better it is. But it actually doesn't really matter. So getting more movement in, no matter how far, no matter how fast, is always good for your health. And we should be all doing that. But how should we as developers who sit at the desk the entire day get these steps in? Not everyone has the time to walk around for hours every day. And also walking outside is not accessible to everyone. Um, the weather can be an issue or the temperature or it might not be safe overall. Um, and as we are developers, we know the solution to almost all time-sensitive problems is parallelism. Therefore, I bought a walking pad, which is a small treadmill that fits under the desk. Um, this is actually a very accurate simulation of me using the walking pad. Um, the walking pad can be put away fairly easily, so it's not too heavy, you can actually handle it. Um, currently, I walk or stand all day because I'm too lazy to put away the walking pad every day. <laughs> but that actually helps with my steps, so on a, a regular wo a working day at the home office, I get in about 20,000 steps a day. And here are some things that I learned um, since I've been doing this. You should start slowly. It actually needs, you know, to, your brain needs to adjust to walking and typing at the same time. But after a few weeks, I got really comfortable with it and now I just hop on and off um, the, the walking pad and it doesn't bother me anymore. You should also wear shoes because the walking pad has a very hard surface and although I really like um, walking barefoot and it's also healthier for you, you should wear shoes. And trust me, you should wear pants. <laughs> I know people don't see you, but um, if there are people here, you're used to um, wearing skirts, you know that when your thigh is rubbed together, you get a rash and it hurts. So. Even if no one sees you, you should wear some pants. Uh, I don't see the, my other uh, notes, so I have to improvise. Um, you should get a fan, because if you're walking in place and you don't have any wind coming towards you, it gets extremely hot. So a fan actually helps with that. But you can use this to advantage when it's winter. You don't have to heat the room because it will get warm enough once you're on the walking pad. It's really helpful with today's energy prices. <laughs> um, I don't know what I had last, uh, so I'm going to skip to the next slide. So these are some stats that I grabbed from my Fitbit um, since I started using the walking pad. And the steps that you see here actually um, are estimated to be about 2,500 kilometers, which is about um, the um, distance from Berlin to Iceland. So that's pretty cool. This was my best week. Not all weeks look like that, but this was my best week. This is my office day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weekend. And, um, but overall, I, uh, I think I do really well. And I went from an average of like 5,000 steps a day to 15,000 steps a day. And I really feel the difference. And, you know, please note that I know that um, this is also very privileged because I have the money and the space to actually have a walking pad and I'm able-bodied. So, but if you have the means, you should actually try. So it might be really good for your health. Thank you.